This little tip come from a mate of mine. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh come on. Hit. The wake that it puts out does mimic. I'm gonna go the darker color. Here we go. Look at that. Okay, so those who know me and have been following me for a while know I love my soft plastics, and that includes these, uh, you know, these style of surface lures. Uh, that's the Billy Goat from Zedman. But today I'm going to try something different. I'm going to go with this MMD Splash Prawn, and typically they come out of the box with uh, these trebles, but I put some assist hooks. Um, this little tip come from a mate of mine who's a guide on the Fitzroy down in Rocky. We'll flick these like little prawns out of the drains. Um, I've noticed a few prawns start to kick around, so I'm hoping there might be a barrier in there that willing to um, jump on top of one of these. So we'll see how we go. There's the odd fish at the moment that's feeding. They seem to be a little bit shut down, but there is the odd one that's coming up and taking some jelly prawns or small bait fish, small schools of bait fish. And I'm tempted to switch back to a, uh, a surface plastic, but with these conditions, uh, it's a bit cooler than yesterday. So uh, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to switch to a, a subsurface plastic and a prawn pattern and see if I can um, get a bite using that. I'll, I'll holster the MMD for a little while and um, you maybe go with a Holt Swim Prawn. All right, so there we go. That's the Holt Swim Prawn. I'm going to go the darker color because there's a fair bit of dirty water here and I, I want to um, get it to stand out and I've got a stinger on the front a treble with a split ring to the eye and I, I like rigging them that way I find um, a little bit better hookup rate with the stinger so let's see what subsurface does I've got a feeling there um, there's some barra feeding under that surface and maybe not prepared to come up and feed off the surface Here we go. Where's he going around? Am I electric? We'll come back out. He's the jump at the back of the boat. Oh, my net's on the floor. <laughs> That's gonna make it interesting. All right, I'm gonna sneak me under the floor and try and grab my net. Keep the pressure on this line. Yeah, I'm on. That's it. Well, there you go. And that is the result of not being afraid to change. So I've been throwing surface with the splash prawn for probably about an hour and a half and uh, no luck, not even a bump. I could see the occasional fish feeding so I knew they were around here and having a feed somewhere and changed to a subsurface prawn with a little bit of vibration, the Holt Swim Prawn and bang, uh, only took probably about eight or ten casts and this guy who's uh, just on the legal size, gone. So I'm starting to think it might be time for a change again and back to maybe a surface soft plastic. I guess the idea of going to the surface with a bit of disturbance is that they don't get a real good look at it. There's a barrow there. Oh, it was right there. It was about half a metre, three quarters of a metre in front of him in the direction he was heading and he didn't want it. Making me think maybe um, a change is in the wind. Something that um, creates a bit of a tension, but it's still uh, not too aggressive. And that's going to be the billy goat, I think. All right, got my white Z-Man billy goat. And um, configured the stinger a little bit different. Um, that's 
because the the stinger hook I got is a size or two smaller than I normally use and hanging off the back it doesn't quite get the purchase that I like so trying it swinging off the front see how we go let's keep working these drains hoping that there might be a fish sitting in the mouth of one of them I might have screwed the cast up, but not bad enough for this guy to miss it. What's he doing? He's thinking. I don't, I don't like when they think. He's waiting for another big run, but... No. Straight into the net. Oh, he's a bit bigger than I thought. Oh. Pretty chuffed with that. He's only just waking up now. He's really engulfed. That dead man Billy goat. He really woofed it down. The sting is a pinned him, so I should be able to um, get them out with a pair of pliers. <laughs> Check this out. Look at that. Look at the size compared to him. It's unbelievable. He was actually quite a bit bigger than what I um, what I thought. He's um, in the high 60s, 60, 67 or 68. Oh, and raring to go. Uh, it's amazing the size of the creeks and areas that these guys get up into and have a camp and hunt bait. Tide will be making its way back in again shortly, so hopefully we can um, we can get another one before there's too much water. Go on. Well, I was going to go back and fish. A bit of an edge, um, I guess sort of like this, but in a bigger system. And then I come across this creek, and I, I know I've been in here before, but I haven't fished it in these really low tides, so I'm going to give it a go. Oh. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if the cameras picked that up or not, but that barra had to be in the 70s, maybe even pushing the 80s. Oh, come on, hit it! <laughs> I don't know if you can see that bow wave <laughs> on camera, but it was there. I knew he was there. He wants to play up. <laughs> Don't go around on that tree. Oh, you see my swam in between them. Nothing gets a hard pumping like that, seeing those bow waves come after your surface lure. No matter how big or small they are. Oh, I thought he threw the plastic down, but he just ripped it off the rig. Another one that was going to go legal. They've been um, a bit tough to get, but when we have got them, they've been a, a solid size. Not an overly big fish, but a, definitely a solid fish. So we'll get the tag in this guy and have a closer look. Oh, and he just coughed up a heap of these. A little... Um, Perchlet, white bait. Uh, I go by a number of different names, but you can see the prawn pattern I was using earlier might not have fitted this pattern. And while you know, while this Z man is a surface lure and it does, um, you know, it does throw a bigger profile, the wake that it puts out does mimic a school of these uh, fish. So um, I think that's what the barra sometimes gets excited by um, when they're feeding and gorging themselves on small bait. Uh, and it fits perfectly. So again, making that change has paid off with a, another um, solid barra. All right, he's been out of the water long enough. We'll um, get him in, get him some water back through his gills. Gone. I started with a splash prawn, didn't have any luck for about an hour and a half. 
earlier on. Could see a few fish feeding. Changed to a subsurface halt prawn. Picked up a couple of fish and then noticed that the water was clearing up a little bit. They were getting a little bit sluggish and wanted a little bit more presence in the water. So I went back to the surface in the white, a little bit bigger presentation and um, bang, straight onto a really nice sized barra. Uh, so it pays to think about what you're doing and some days change it up. Today's just a really difficult day to get them to, to feed. So um, changing it up is, um, has worked for me today.